Well, I dug into the firewood pile again. As you can see, I didn't pick out the very best piece. I like to think there's potential in all these old rotten chunks of wood. So I took my chainsaw, sliced off a chunk so it would fit in that little mold. And eventually I found a way to fit those pine cones in there. And then it was all about mixing up some resin. I just use a couple of different colored blues there. Sea blue and sky blue. Added some pearl. And it took about five of those cups to fill up this mold. And once I had it all set up, I taped it all down and stuck it in the pressure pot for 24 hours. I had charged that pot to about 50 pounds of pressure. And it dropped to just over 40 overnight. I had the fire going in my shop. It was still kind of chilly in there. And that resin, as it came off in those big long shavings, as it coated my arm, it felt pretty good. It was nice and warm. You can see all the tear out on the end grain there. Maybe I could have set that wood up better inside that mold. And here I'm drilling a hole for the worm screw. I'm just taking my chainsaw to it to make it flush. And all I was doing here was uh, I just reverse mounted it and uh, put it on the worm screw in order to cut the mortise onto the bottom side. Uh, kind of an extra unnecessary step. But nonetheless, I did it. It worked. Sorry about the distortion in the background with the sound. It's just the fan that I had turned on to blow the resin away from my face. Uh, just causing some disturbance on the microphone on the camera. Well, it's time once again to take a look at what some of you very talented people in the audience have been doing. Gerald Moore made this beautiful salad bowl set out of walnut and ash and then made this amazing piece of art out of uh, pecan. Just beautiful. Brett O'Keefe has been busy. Bottle stoppers and bowls. I like this square bowl especially. That grain is so beautiful. Good job, Brett. Bruce Jordan from Jordan Woodworks and Robert Dodinsky from Crosscut Creations sent me stickers. I sent some back. Hopefully you got them by now. 
both of them have uh, YouTube channels that you might want to check out. I want to take this time once again to just give a special thank you to all of you that have subscribed to my channel. You know, I, I sign on to check my comments and respond and the numbers just keep on growing and growing and it just blows me away. It's, it's very humbling. I really appreciate everybody's interest. Thank you so much. So eventually in hollowing this bowl out, uh, I decided to go with the square nose scraper and just kind of take it out a little bit at a time that way. Seemed to work out pretty good. And of course I went back in with a, a bowl gouge to clean it up. First across the bottom and then up the sides. I'm getting towards the end of the, the process here, I decided to reshape the bottom of the bowl a little bit, kind of round it out to match the top. It was about 8.30, 9 o'clock at night time to go in and I wasn't done so I decided to soak that wood with a, a nice heavy coat of shellac because it was kind of soft uh, kind of punky as usual and then this is the next morning now before I took the negative rate scraper to it I had to uh, repair a couple of cracks that had formed and uh, what I did was I took five minute epoxy and mixed some pearl into it and filled the cracks with that. Really thin cracks and uh, I'm really happy with the uh, results of that. So I gave the whole bowl a thick coat of shellac and I let that dry. Let that wood soak it all up again. And then I hit the whole thing with some OB shine juice, courtesy of Captain Eddie Castellan's recipe. Those pine cones just pop. And I'm real happy with the pearl pattern inside the different blues. It turned out real nice. And here I'm hitting it with that shine juice. couple of coats of that and then I hit it with some uh, carnauba wax and a buffing wheel which unfortunately I didn't record. But this is uh, right after the shine juice was applied and before I hit it with the carnauba wax and buffing wheel. So it's a little bit streaky but all that streakiness goes away. As you can see here. You can see those real fine white lines 
those are completely solid but uh, that's where the cracks had formed I love the way that looks it's a very wintry looking bowl have I mentioned how much I love the winter y'all stick around and watch these stills there's a couple of surprises It glows. Thanks for watching. Semper Fi.